Um, so I did something today and with that I mean I bought a new animal. Well, um, I was not planning on getting this animal today but I got it anyway. So first of all, disclaimer, do not impulse buy animals, especially not ones like these. Don't do it. There, sometimes you just don't know how to care for it and it ends up getting sick or you end up getting uh, giving it away because you can't care for it. So. When you do buy an animal, make sure you have the proper stuff at home or you can buy the proper stuff and make sure that in the coming years that you still can care for it, which is what I always do. So when I do buy an animal or see one that I want to buy, I make sure I have everything. I also have the knowledge to know how to care for this one. So, you know, when I was about 12 years old, I had a chameleon, a Yemen chameleon to be precise. And uh, we went to the pet store because I was bored and they had one. And uh, I've seen it uh, a few weeks ago or like a few weeks ago, a week or a half, a week and a half ago. I went there and there was this tiny baby Yemen chameleon. And I was like, oh my God, I want it. But I didn't buy it at the time because, you know, I also filmed the chameleon. And I was like, nah, I don't know. It's a bit risky. <laughs> so, um... But yeah, I went there again and they still had it. And this time I wouldn't let it get away from me. So this is my current setup. I already had this terrarium. It was in our garage and it was just sitting there collecting dust, which for me was kind of sad because this is a pretty big terrarium. So this is my setup. I just crafted this and now I'm going to show you our little guy. I named it, I named it Klaus. I'm not sure what gender it is. I just usually go by, uh, say they're male by default. Um, I don't think he'll feel very bad if I call it a him, even though I'm not 100% sure, but that's just the way I do it. So he's in there and this is quite a tiny box. There you are, big guy. He is so cute. Yes, you can go out now. This, this is his food. Chameleons need, hold on, I'm gonna use my hand for, to open this. Chameleons need uh, living food. I mean, when they're older, you can buy them something else. You wanna climb on me, little guy? All right, let me pick him up. Oh, he's so cute. This is how I used to handle my old chameleon. So this is Klaus. I named him after my character chameleon. Look at him. He is pretty relaxed right now, as you can see, because he's not all puffed up and because he has nice bright colors. I love the colors on his head. He's like a red. Um, our other chameleon, we got him when he was two or three years old. These particular types of chameleons, Yemen chameleons, get five or six years old. They usually don't get much older than that. So uh, obviously he stayed with us until he was six and then unfortunately died of old age. Oh my God, I love him so much. God, I love chameleons, but yeah, chameleons need very specific care. They need the right temperature, they need the right humidity, they re need the right food, they need the right enclosure. And lucky for me, I have all of those. So he doesn't wanna, yeah, there he goes. Go on, little guy. Go on, little guy. Yes, good boy. Oh, there he goes. Oh, oh, <laughs> he's grabbing the plant. What's important for the right humidity is I will spray or mist some water onto these plants and a little bit on the substrate so that it's nice and moist in here, which I'm going to do next. Uh, that's, this is also the way they drink by spraying I spray water on the plants, which he's climbing on right now. Um, and then he drinks it that way. So that's how he get drinks. And then I'm going to feeding him, but I'm gonna let him explore a little bit before I start feeding him and figure out what I'm gonna do with the door because uh, one of the glass panels from this door broke and we put a new one in there. Now this is not, this one's actual glass. This one's not actual glass. Uh, but it's a little bit bendable, and as you can maybe not see, there's a little gap which crickets might uh, get through. 
but yeah. This guy is, I don't know how old he is, but he is a baby. It's a baby. These guys get to 25 to 30 centimeters, uh, which my last one was, counting from head to tail. And this one is about mm, 10, 15 centimeters, something like that, 10 centimeters. Look at him. Oh my god, he's so adorable. He's already shedding, which is very good. That means that he's growing. Uh, yeah, I love reptiles. I love reptiles. And I used to have a chameleon when I was 12. And when I got him the last time, when I was 12, I freaked the fuck out. I was like, oh my god, this was my dream pet. It was my dream pet when I was 12. And I actually had the opportunity to have one back then. But that one was already in the middle of his life and he wasn't very used to me. And often he got really pissed and he did, did not want to hang out with me. But with this one, I get a whole new chance to bond with this guy. Now, chameleons need a lot of me time. The, they get stressed very easily and you can handle them but when they don't want to or they hiss at you, just put them back. Just listen to what they want. I know how to care for these guys when I got them because when I just would have got another reptile there that I didn't know anything about, which would, it wouldn't be good. Okay, I could do my research now, but still, it's better to know what you're doing when you're getting one of these, especially these chameleons. They need a lot of care and looking after, and I love it so much. So thanks for watching me doing this impulse buy. Literally, we got to the pet store and I did not imagine that I'd come back with a chameleon. But I'm so happy he's here. My dad doesn't know, by the way. And my dad said when we got the ferrets that if one more animal entered this property, that he would either kill me or leave. So um, if I'm never ever uploading again, you kind of guess what happened. But my dad is gonna be so pissed, but after a few days it'll clear up and yeah, he's such a beautiful boy. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> Thanks for watching me. Um, I'm gonna sit down and enjoy my new animal.